<gasps> Here you go, all of season one, like in one place. What's up, ladies? Give it up for Tanya and her new talk show! Okay, that actually really, really hurt. What's up, mooses and gooses? I'm Tanya, and this is my new talk show. <laughs> On this show, I'm just going to talk about whatever comes to my mind, and maybe we'll have, like, cake or something. So, like, last week there was an earthquake, and I was at the mall, and I stumbled when it quaked, and then I went home because I said I was going to shop until I dropped. <laughs> I seriously think pancakes for dinner needs to happen more often. Why aren't you making pancakes for dinner? <laughs> Can people tell their kids to like stop screaming in public? I want everyone to start responding to self-checkout machines when they talk to you. It'll help if, like, store associates can put, like, little googly eyes and name tags on them, like Steve. <laughs> if there were more eclipses, we wouldn't have been disappointed from the one the other day. So they need to get on, on planning more eclipses. <laughs> Summer is approaching, and I have one word for everyone. Deodorant. Oh no, we have like no more time for talk show. Thank you everyone for joining me. Um, Mr. Cowboy Hat, can I not do the explosion? That like really hurt. Ah, all right, we'll put in your stunt double. I'm sure nobody will notice. Oh, come on, man. What's up, mooses and gooses? I'm Tanya and welcome back to No More Time. With, with Tanya. <laughs> All right, ready, McFreddy. Let's get this show on the road. Job boards are, like, dumb. And, like, so are, like, job listings. Like, how can you be an entry-level job and then you're asking me for, like, 10 years of experience and, like, have, that I, like, um, cured every disease known to man? <laughs> Being the jobs, like, during interviews, could, could we come up with a better first question than, oh, tell me about yourself, which is, like, not even a question. And then, like, um, because, like, like, what would you open up, like, a first date like this? And, like, ladies, if he does, tell him, um, I'm sorry to inform you, we will not be moving forward with your application. <laughs> it was, like, tax day yesterday. I don't remember them teaching us, like, anything about that in school, but, like, at least we spent extensive time learning cursive. <laughs> Dear old people, please chill with those AI photo things on social media. It, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> Oh no, we have like no more time for talk show. Thank you for joining me, everybody. What's up, mooses and gooses? I'm Tanya. This is like already episode three. We're trying to do these like once or twice a week. If you haven't already watched either of the other episodes, click the thing. Okay, like don't ever drink orange juice after brushing your teeth, unless they're in mimosas. <laughs> Rain, rain, go away. Come again when I die. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Uh, yeah, like um, Tanya tip here. If you want to avoid the crowds and old people, start doing your grocery shopping like on Friday nights. Nobody is there to get in your way. I, I know I should be living more an exciting life on Fridays, but like... Boys nowadays aren't worth my time, but snacks and ginger ale definitely are. 
You know, like when your parents would try to feed you as a baby and would say things like, Open it up, here comes a choo-choo train. <laughs> Instead, they sh you should tell them, like, here comes the private jet to Fiji. Uh, also, a side note, what, what a weird thing for us to say to kids. Like, uh, honestly, who wants a train coming in their mouth? <laughs> Besides your mom. <laughs> Oh no, it's the kazoo. That means like no more time for talk show. Thank you for joining me, everybody. What's really poppin', friends? I hope you enjoyed the video so far. There's more funny stuff coming up. While I have your attention, please like, comment, and subscribe. It literally costs zero dollars and zero cents and helps support the channel. And if you want, there is Tanya merchandise and other stuff for my channel on the Sometimes Joey Plays Redbubble store. I'm wearing one of them right now. Okay, bye. What's up, mooses and gooses? It's Tanya, and welcome back to No More Time with Tanya. Thank you for all the love and support you've been showing me and um and Jeremy who Ooh. who were just friends. <laughs> Whoa, I don't remember taking a photo or wearing a name tag. So like I went to get my teeth cleaned the other day and I had to wait like forty five hours to get seen, even though I had an appointment. More like a disappointment. <laughs> Oh, I'd like to introduce everyone to our studio director, Bernadette. She's a sweetheart. Say hi, Bernadette. <laughs> oh, neat. It's Flashback Friday. Oh, it's oh. me in elementary school. I, like, remember this day. I was, like, always hungry growing up and, well, still am. And so, like, I brought some chicken nuggets to school because, like, it's not a crime. And Mrs. Teacher Steen, I don't. I don't know anyone's real name. But, oh, oh my gosh, that's Tommy Hung. I remember his name for sure. Uh, uh, Tommy, if you're watching this, like you were super cute and <laughs> hi. <laughs> anyway, she got up in my grill like, nuggets of chicken. And I said, hey, here's a nugget. Nobody calls me chicken. <laughs> Doing things by old people mail. It takes way too long. It's called email. I don't care what you think. I'm keeping my original email. Sparkles Candy Glitter 2003 at gmail.com. <laughs> oh no, like, no more time for a talk show. Thank you for joining me, everybody. What's up, mooses and gooses? It's Tanya, and welcome back to No More Time with Tanya. <laughs> Ladies and gents, stop being so desperate for compliments. You know, like, only compliments I'm concerned about. Which wine compliments my charcuterie board? P no? <laughs> More like P yes. <laughs> I don't like criticizing food service people because I know like their job isn't the most fun. But the sandwich boy at Sandwich Place put all this like extra mayonnaise on my sandwich and I said Excuse me, is my name Cinco? Because I didn't ask for De Mayo. Oh, you're booing me for that? I thought that was cute. Okay, fine. I'm not perfect. Yes, I am. People have used the term NPC, which is non-playable character, as like a derogatory term to mean like, oh, you're nothing special. I think NPC is accurate for me because you can't play me. Mm. I mean, that comment will be null and void when they release the Tanya video game. Oh, I'm getting in my ear. Uh, Bernadette, what's, what's up, Bernie? Oh, cool. A taco truck is here for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't even put two and three together from that other joke. <laughs> Everyone who likes this video, you get a taco. You're just going to have to purchase it or prepare it on your own time. Tacos by mail would just get too messy. And you shouldn't be giving out a dress. You should be wearing it. Boo! Okay, okay, am I really getting booed twice in like one episode? Alright, great, wonderful. We have like no more time for talk show. Adios, conitos. What's up, mooses and gooses? It's Tanya. Welcome back to the No More Time show. Okay, first off, I was booed twice in the last episode. And heed my warning, the next person that boos is, like, getting banned for life from the show. 
do people like still watch the videos of people um, eating? I'm not really sure why I never tapped into that market. Here I am eating for free. In fact, here I am losing money eating. <laughs> I don't get it when like you call a, a boy and he doesn't answer and then he wants to say like, oh yeah, my bad, uh, it, it was on silent. And I'd say, well, if you like it, then you should have put the ring on it. <coughs> okay, that silence, that's still better than booing, but you should still laugh. <laughs> okay, time for a flashback Friday. Oh gosh. <clears throat> that day, that hair, that brace face. This was the day my dad like um took me for my first driving lesson and the car got wrecked. I didn't do it. This pterodactyl like came down and tried to like take it back to its pterodactyl house but like nobody believed me it's all beans and bacon though like i actually ran into him at the airport lounge recently and like we had a good laugh about it he was on the way to like some christian convention in wisconsin which is awesome <laughs> oh my gosh we have like no more time for a talk show thank you for joining me everybody now i don't understand why i'm banned and can't come into the show <laughs> You go inside, Miss Bernadette. I'll take care of this goose. I'ma eat it. What is up, mooses and gooses? It's Tanya. Welcome back to the show. I went bowling the other day and got a turkey. I named it Wilma, and her and Ginger Ale have become great buddies. Aww. United States is, like, cool and everything because, like, I live here. But, like, why do we do everything different? Like, no metrics. We don't use the letter U and color, neighbor, and favorite. Then we could try it out. Like, I want to sound fancy. Like, I like some crumpets in my crisps in the lift, your majesty. <laughs> I only like to stay at, like, um six-star hotels. They, they look like five-star hotels when you search them because the, the six-star comes when I do. <laughs> There's like no excuse to not use um, one of those like digital money exchange apps. We're not, we don't, we don't read brand names on this channel. The only excuses to not use them are A, you're old, B, you're old uh, again, and um, C, you are some colonial guy that writes checks. <laughs> The studio, like, allows coworkers to date, but there is a condition. If they want to, they have to go, like, through a 30-day trial where they uh, have to do their pooping <laughs> in the, the, the dining room. But if they manage to survive that, then it's true love. Yay. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We're out of time for talk show because of that stupid goose. Thank you for joining me, everybody. What's up, mooses and gooses? It's Tanya. Sorry for the delay, but I'm back. Sorry there was, like, no show Friday. I, like, made a three-day weekend, a four-day weekend. I'd love to make it, like, a five-day weekend. And people say, like, oh, you, then then your vacation would, like, be, be too long. And I'm like, that that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I got sunburned. I am kindly asking everyone to, like, ignore it. Because if I can ignore it, then so can you. <laughs> It's not that bad, but it does hurt when I blink. Thankfully, Jeremy's channel has just been 2D PNG animation, so I never have to blink. <laughs> Speaking of Jeremy, congratulations on reaching over 100 subscribers. I, I should be saying, like, you're welcome, Jeremy, because, like, the ladies, like, the games you'd be playing, it'd be boring. I'm kidding. I love you, Jay, but... But, but anyway, for those of you watching, please do subscribe because it costs you like zero dollars to do it. And like it helps us keep pushing out the good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. So like last weekend, I was invited to go to some fancy fashion thing. But like I had to decline because I knew I didn't have anything um, absurd and obnoxious to wear.
And I also like don't have the money to like have something custom made. But but if I did, it would be like awesome if like it could be like absurd, obnoxious, and and practical, like a, a robot dress or something. <laughs> Uh, that's the noise. No more time for talk show. I'll see you again this week, everybody. Hello, audience. My name is Gary Nuts. I love my wife, my family, baseball, and of course, whiskey. W- whiskey is like water for, for men, you know? But sometimes my wife or a very generous corporate sponsor will want me to have a glass of wine. And Geraldine and I pick the wine that pays us the most. Sunrest. Sunsleep. Right, right. Sunsleep. Thanks, baby. It, it tastes good and it goes great with ribs. Sun Sleep by Tanya. Uh. <laughs> What's up, Moose and Gooses? Sorry I'm late. I had to put on some extra aloe vera gel. And that was a cool commercial by Mr. Garfield. And um, uh, we're already almost like out of time. So like, what, what, what else can we do? <laughs> All right. Yeah, Flashback Friday. That's, that, that's, that's simple enough. Oh. Uh, okay, it's me and my parents at the beach. Yeah, I like um, buried my dad in the sand. <laughs> poor, poor Jacob. He, he like got swallowed by the sand, and at first we thought um like he died, but then we remember we live in a cartoon universe, so like he's obviously gonna be okay. Well, like according to him, he had to like navigate himself through this like sand labyrinth, and he ran to like the, the like the sandy underlords of Sector Four. And like two hours later, he comes back to the surface, all sandmany, like talking about taking over the world and making all mortals convert to like sandyism. But then like I just like pushed him in the water, and he went back to being Jacob. And then my mom made him sleep on the couch for like a month. <laughs> Wait, like Mr. Garfield's like a million years old. His wife looks amazing. <laughs> what? Really? Wow. Cheetah don't deteria. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. No show next week. Hi Tanya, I really love your show. Ah, uh, thanks, Mrs. Jeremy's mom. I love yours too. What's up, moose and gooses? It's me, Tanya. Oh, ha ha! Very funny crickets. Wait, where where are the mooses and gooses? <laughs> uh, well, every time we record a show, that is a holiday, so I, I don't want to hear it. Okay, everyone, I solved the is a hot dog a sandwich debate. T- t- Terry, please turn that off. Thank you. Um, My name so, is Tom. Oscar Dictionary defines a sandwich as like is like stuff that's like in between um like two two slices of bread and a hot dog bun is like only one bread and it has to be in a bun like otherwise it's not a hot dog. So like there you go. It's not a sandwich, but it's still delicious. Nom, nom, nom. You're welcome. I got some new stuff. I went to this Arboretum the other day and I thought like, oh, I could like record my experience for like a lifestyle channel, you know, but there was this day camp nearby and they're making all this noise. Well, it was either a day camp or a, a cult. I couldn't really tell because there was a lot of chanting and like, I don't know if they were playing dodgeball or like having some sort of like sacrificial ritual. So like I went over to ask them to be quiet and I, I even said, please. And then I ended up like, joining the sack race and I won. The prize was five pizzas and a blender. I shared the pizza because I mean like, yeah, I could have very well eaten all five at one time, but for all we know, that cult is probably starving those kids. Ooh, the great Glizzy Kazoo is here. You audience would have gotten hot dogs if you came, but too bad. Now I'm eating them all. I'm going to go eat hot dogs. I want a hot dog. Okay, bye. See, I made up my mind about it. It's got to be the rhythm. No doubt about it. Whoa. Because when the guitar plays, start playing with the sick of it. rhythm with the scratch, scratch, scratch. Make me want to move my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the drummer starts beating that beat, he nails that beat with the sick of it. rhythm with the right tight, 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 tight on the drums. Yeah, pause. Oh, I'm talking about the beat. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, oh. I love to hit the beat.